I'm standing on the research and education campus for the Idaho National Laboratory in Idaho Falls. Here, technologies and processes related to clean energy and national security are developed for use for the private sector. The first building for this campus was acquired by the Department of Energy in 1979. But the city's role as the headquarters for all INL operations began much earlier. Senior INL Ambassador Shelley Norman explains how it all got started. When they chose the desert for the site, there were several towns vying for headquarters. Arco, they're the closest to, this, to the site. They were super excited because they thought they would be the headquarters. If you take US 20 from where the middle of the site is, it goes right down to Blackfoot. They thought they might be about 5,000 big back then, or Pocatello was about 25,000 back then. They were all vying for the headquarters. Idaho Falls was not really even in the running. Um, the Atomic Energy Commission was coming out to see these other sites. The road from the site to INL, US 20, didn't exist. And so the mayor and the Chamber of Commerce, uh, the city council could really see that economic impact and how good it would be for Idaho Falls. So they contacted the Atomic Energy Commission and said, hey, when you're out here, just come give us a look. They put on these big parties and they would have, um, they're all men on the Atomic Energy Commission. If a man really loved fly fishing, they'd sit him next to a beautiful fly fisher woman. And if a man loved opera, they'd sit him next to a beautiful opera singer and have these big parties selling Idaho Falls on the cultural center of Southeast Idaho. They loved Idaho Falls. The mayor had a friend, had uh, moved some dirt around at the edge of town, brought the Atomic Energy Commission out, had his friend, other friend come up over the hill to pick up I don't know, nine o'clock, like, you come up over the hill, tell the Atomic Energy Commission, you just came from Arco, the road's looking great the whole way. So he's out there with the Atomic Energy Commission, standing around, yeah, this is, you know, where we are. They had moved some dirt around. There's a little bit of a gravel road there. Guy comes up over the hill like, oh, hi, how are you? Yeah, I just came from Arco, the road's looking great the whole way. It looks like getting ready to lay asphalt any day. And so that was enough to select Idaho Falls as the headquarters for the Atomic Energy Commission. Very first started downtown, the Atomic Energy Commission headquarters was on 2nd Street, and that building is still there. And then it spread through Idaho Falls. They were just growing so fast, and they had a lot of office space. And then in the 1970s, they established the Willow Creek building. So when you come up from Fremont Avenue headed north, across the tracks is the Energy Research Office building. And so those are kind of the, kind of the anchors of the in-town facilities. 